Have you ever wanted to paint landscapes like this? Of course you have, dummy. Hi, I'm world famous artist and rocked up garden gnome, Denny Wetmore. I know what you're thinking. You're like, Denny, my Plein Air watercolors are so shitty. And you're right, they are. They're not as good as mine because my work is perfect and the only acceptable art form, as we all know. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you the most important technique, literally, literally the most important technique for making your watercolors go from stains to badass, okay? Okay? I'm sorry I had to yell. I'm sorry I had to yell. It hurt me, it hurt me more than it hurt you. Let's get to it. Check it out, ding dongs. <laughs> the single best way uh, to make your painting feel more cohesive is by doing an underpainting first. What the heck is an underpainting? It sounds so fancy and, uh, and important, right? Guess what? Not a big deal. Underpainting is an easy technique. Uh, really all you're doing is you're putting paint underneath your painting. You want to get rid of the white. That's really all we're doing here. You want to get rid of that color uh, of the page and make it something else. I'm going to be doing this little landscape here. I'm going to keep it real simple and I'm not even going to use an accurate color. I'm going to use uh, how about a purple. What's purple, blue, and red? It's pretty easy. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit more, just to make it maybe a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna do a little more pigment at the top than I do at the bottom. Okay, how am I gonna accomplish that? By having my brush saturated with paint, and then about halfway through, I'm gonna spritz the heck out of it with the rest of this paint to water this down and then finish the rest of the painting. So I'll have dark paint at top uh, and light paint at bottom. Actually, you know what, let's flip it. Let's do light paint on top, dark paint on bottom. So I'm gonna turn this over and do the same thing, okay? Okay, simple, don't be an idiot. Here we go. Okay, about like that and then Water that bad boy down and keep going. And then for fun, I'm gonna dab out some of that color and then come up from the bottom with some of the paint removed to lighten her up. That's it. We let that dry and then we paint on top of it. Underpainting is a great way to quickly establish a consistent color theme all throughout your painting because when you're outside the color of the sky is affecting things pretty much equally so if it's a nice blue day you can always assume that your underpainting should be something like a blue color a nice you know midday color if it's sunrise sunset you want to switch more to like a yellow color if you're going something that's fairly accurate or just get kooky and do a purple just by having an underpainting of any kind of color it's going to just make your painting feel more cohesive, okay? Uh, it wasn't too hard, was it? No, listen, I didn't uh, paint that landscape because it was getting slightly cold and I was wearing an awesome t-shirt, but it just wasn't enough. So I went back to my house and, uh, you know, I painted the sky and damn, it looks good. The purple that I used against the other colors just kind of made everything kind of eerie uh i think i could easily put a little ufo up in the sky here and uh it would feel perfectly at home
So there you go. That's, um, that's how you actually paint correctly. Like and subscribe, ding dong. I made that.